Told you we'd make a video today, but it's not Bustin Smocks. That's tomorrow. Maybe. Maybe. No we'll record it tomorrow, so we have it. If so, but we don't, I'm not sure when we're gonna upload. You're it. not kicking that the whole video, are you? Thank you. <laughs> today we're gonna be doing some wrestling news talk. Happy Friend Zone Day, by the way. <laughs> For all you beards out there. The biggest piece of wrestling news recently is the Seth Rollins <laughs> sex. Ah, oh, that fucker's naked. I haven't seen the picture, and I'm not interested in it seeing the, the picture. It is the most unimpressive pe- My penis is very- All right. <laughs> I'm not even joking, though. And it's- the, What is it? I don't want to- I don't want to analyze the man's penis, because it's the gayest thing ever. But it's, like, narrow. Like, it's an anti-chode, you know what I mean? Whatever. <laughs> so, the guy's a fucking asshole, first of all. I, the main thing I want to do here- First of all, thanks to Mr. McCoy for sending me the link to this thread on wrestling forum. Oh god, what was it? It was about the Rollins hacking, and these fucking people with their comments. Oh. Trademarkless says, Whoever did this is a prick! This is the kind of shit that could ruin a relationship! Are you a retard? How about the fact that Rollins is cheating on his girlfriend? Is that's not ruining the relationship? <laughs> Clearly her posting news is what's ruining it. <laughs> that's such a fanboy... Varmakos chimes in with, Seth wanted to check out her tats, I'm sure. He would never cheat on his wife. I hope that's a joke. I really hope that's <laughs> trolling. Are you fucking- He just wanted to check out her tats! This is like anti-white knighting right now. They're defending Rollins. Phaedra comments, I'm sorry, I must interject, but why- I, I must interject! But why y'all saying he's got a small dick? That's more than plenty to work with. I know how to please the woman. This guy's dick is probably like that big. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, what what would it be without a comment from the nasty Yaffa? This fucking guys in every video. Poor Rollins. Really feel bad for him, TBH. He must be freaking out backstage. You feel bad for Rollins? He's the guy who's fucking some tattooed bitch with giant titties. <laughs> feel bad for his fucking fiance. <laughs> His goddamn fucking fiance, she was gonna marry this fucking asshole, and he's out fucking sending pictures of his twig dick to some tiny bitch. <laughs> Whatever. That we don't really give a his shit about. Twig dick. It looks like a fucking twig. Not even like a tree branch, like a twig. Batista probably saw that and he was like, hell. <laughs> Whatever. We're not gay. I didn't mean to see it. Some fucking asshole posted it in our raw thread. Oh, really? I blocked him immediately. Anyway. Because at the time I saw it, I didn't realize it was Rollins. I thought he was, I remember that. I thought it was just a penis. Yeah. Hole. And I'm like blocked, and then I found out later that Seth Rollins, and I was like, oh, I feel bad for blocking him, but I don't remember his name, so sorry, you're gonna stay blocked. <laughs> <laughs> All right. In other news, it's not really news. I just didn't properly convey in our raw review how much I hate what's happening with the Miz and Miz Dow right now. Yeah, this needs to stop. I thought the fucking. Stunt double thing was gay, but this whole personal assistant bullshit like, oh, he doesn't know how to not be the stunt double, so he's gonna continue to mimic him. Isn't this fun? It's in his blood, Marlo. Isn't this fun, Sean? No, it's not fucking fun. <laughs> and these fucking moron fans are just eating it up. Yeah, this is made for babies. <laughs> the people who boo Roman Reigns go apeshit for this. Doesn't that tell you a lot, folks? And, Jesus and it takes something away from the stunt to keep bringing this back up. But when your repressed hero turns around and looks for acknowledgement from the crowd and his developed <laughs> female breasts are flapping in the wind, I lose interest. It's, it's, it's disgusting. And you can't have a push where if the guy gets over, then automatically he has to be repackaged. That's the worst way to have a wrestler. If Damian Mizdow has a WrestleMania moment, John, and beats the shit out of the Miz... That's it, he's not Miz Dow anymore. There you go, the gimmick that got him over is no longer in existence. He has to become Damien Sandow again. <laughs> Horrid. This is terrible. It's so childish too. Make me my coffee. This is like the fucking Cinderbella Don't forget to on. put milk in the coffee. <laughs> okay. In other news, crowd reactions on the last Raw. And we, first, we, gotta start, we just gotta start talking about Raw ratings. Because, you know, they were really high after the Rumble. But as soon... As Triple H puts Brian in the match, ratings went down this week. You, you I don't want to hear this you, shit. You can't deny it. As, the ratings were great when it was Roman Reigns versus Lesnar. When there's a chance that Brian's going in, the ratings went down. 
Is this is this real life that people can st oh no, 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 no. and the the pro Brian crowd has not been as dramatic as it was in Neckbeard City for the Rumble. The crowd reactions on the last Raw were bizarre, defied everyone's bizarre. expectations. Roman Reigns was kind of mixed. Daniel Bryan was like mixed to negative. I thought, uh, excuse me, Roman Reigns would have been booed out of the building like the entire fucking night, and he really wasn't. He got a big pop when he came out. He got supported by the fans when Brian said he was a better wrestler. And Brian was getting booed a lot. And then, who was it? Heyman? He said, does anyone really believe that uh, <laughs> Brian can beat Lesnar? And like, no! And then, like, Heyman was, like, shocked because he wasn't getting the reaction he wanted. So he asked it again. He's like, I ask again! And they still said no. It, it's... It, people don't really give a shit about this fucking asshole. And the crowd reactions and ratings. He comes out with like fucking 1980s leg warmers. That's a fucking man bun. I can't stand him. Like Roman Reigns. Okay, I'm not a big fan of the ponytail, but it's better than a man bun. <laughs> All right, the last bit. Oh no, not the last bit. The second to last bit of news. Rikishi getting in the Hall of Fame. We just kind of touched upon it in the Raw review. I don't think he's even remotely deserving. No. If he gets in the Hall of Fame, then how do you not put Scotty Too Hotty in the Hall of Fame? Like, they're the same fucking thing, only one's a fat asshole. Like, what did Rikishi do to get... Oh, he fell off the cell! Okay. You don't have to induct someone every year. You really... Like, this is really kind of pushing it. <laughs> I mean, Rik Rikishi? Is this just like an excuse to get the Usos over because they've never been over their entire career and you really want them to do big time all I, I, thought, I thought Coco Beware was bad. <sighs> It's like the token black guy. <laughs> it's like, oh, see, we're not racist. We'll put the dancing man in the, in the banana shorts in. <laughs> you know, the weird African guy. I am Coco Beware, you know. Whatever. How the fuck is Rikishi? Oh, I, I love Rikishi. Don't get me wrong. He's one of my favorite guys in my childhood. And I loved him and Scotty. You know, I'd rather have Scotty too hot in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> and, like... On the fucking videos they show for him, they're like, oh, well, his video packages are so short. One of the most athletic big men in the history of the company. If he's so athletic, then why was he fired for refusing to lose weight? He clearly, according to your video, didn't need to lose weight because he was just so athletic. Former tag team champion. It's like, great, it's the same resume that Tyson Kidd has. <laughs> <laughs> former tag team champion who kicked people. That is literally Tyson Kidd. Oh, but Tyson Kidd never did a stink face. Yeah, Tyson Kidd's psychology and work rate are a little bit better. Right. Yeah, so we love you, Rikishi. Don't get us wrong. Big Kish, but you're not a Hall of Famer. <laughs> I mean, they're, King Kong Bundy should be in the Exactly. Fucking, you want to put a big fat guy in the Hall of Fame? How about King Kong Bundy? Why Rikishi? Did he ever even sniff a big main event push? Whatever, he ran over Steve Austin. <laughs> that was about it. Hey, and final, final news and notes. Thing to talk about. That fucking fake sting on Raw. Oh my god, that was an indie wrestler. <laughs> what? Why? Why even have it? it you could have had the same moment just by having I accept appear on the screen. You didn't need this. Have a freaking go to the zoo and rent a bird and have it fly. Yeah, like do, do something better than just getting some fucking ham and egger to put on a terrible phony wig. It didn't even remote like like as soon as I, I mean he was only on the screen for like a microsecond and right away I was like what the fuck is that? That's not stupid. Everyone, you look at the fucking comments on the Facebook post where they show the picture. Everyone was either talking about how Triple H looked like Elvis or how fucking that was not Sting. You didn't fool anyone. And everyone's like, whoa, there was a fake sting in WCW! That was, was a character, you <laughs> retard! That wasn't supposed to be sting! <laughs> oh my god, that just proves these people don't watch. Oh, I've been watching after WrestleMania 29, but uh, fake sting! Fake sting was a character who was a member of the NWO. Was that Vince Russo's idea? I have no idea. I no, know. that was before Vince Russo. Oh, okay, because that, that's pretty fucking stupid. It was stupid, but... I have an idea. Fake sting! He can challenge our cat. Whatever. We're gonna have a bust of smarks up tomorrow. We just had to make this little placeholder video for all you fucking obnoxious fanboys about it. We might not have it up tomorrow. <clears throat> It'll be up soon. We love all of our fans, by the way. Again, thanks for Mr. McCoy for sharing that thread. Boy, the bust of smarks we're gonna do. I've had these comments for so long. I hope they're not outdated. <laughs> Doesn't matter, they're always, they're still stupid. That's true, and Nasty Affa appears like five or six times, <laughs> so get ready. Hope you enjoyed this fucking goddamn video! Fuck Cody Rhodes!